pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine have seized a bus carrying international military observers, Ukraine's interior ministry says. Negotiations were underway to secure the release of the observers, seized near the town of Slovensk, it added. Western leaders earlier announced they were debating fresh sanctions against Russia over its alleged failure to help de-escalate the crisis in Ukraine. Russia has accused the West of wanting to seize Ukraine. Moscow has tens of thousands of troops stationed along its side of the border with Ukraine and pro-Russian separatists have been occupying key buildings in a dozen eastern towns, defying the central government in Kiev. A week ago, Ukraine and Russia struck an agreement in Geneva calling for the separatists to leave official premises and give up their arms. The pact included an amnesty for those agreeing to retreat peacefully. But so far the pro-Russian activists have refused to give in to the demands. Concerning rhetoric on Friday, Ukraine's interior ministry said armed separatists had seized seven representatives from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSS, as well as five Ukrainian army personnel and a bus driver. Pro-Russian leaders in Slovensk confirmed that the bus had been stopped and said they were checking the identities of the people on board. Correspondents say the seized observers are not part of the main OSS monitoring mission, which had been agreed after long negotiations by Russia, Ukraine and the United States. Instead, they appear to be unarmed military observers from individual lost states. The German Defense Ministry, which is in charge of that mission, earlier confirmed that it had lost contact with the group. Earlier on Friday, the US, France, Germany, Britain and Italy accused Russia of disrespecting the Geneva Agreement and of continuing to escalate the situation in Ukraine through its increasingly concerning rhetoric and threatening military exercises on Ukraine's border. As a result, the leaders agreed to work closely together, and through the G7 and European Union, to coordinate additional steps to impose costs on Russia, the White House said in a statement. German Chancellor Angela Merkel earlier said she had spoken to Russian President Vladimir Putin to express her dissatisfaction with Russia's lack of commitment to bring about a peaceful path of discussion with the separatists in eastern Ukraine. Russia's foreign currency ratings were cut on Friday by the credit ratings agency Standard & Poor to one notch above junk status. The agency warned that further downgrades were possible if the West imposed tighter sanctions against Moscow.